What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here, bringing another Mutt 16 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 linebackers in Mutt 16 from day 1. All these cards and overalls are confirmed, so, you know, I'm just, your boy C4 is letting you know, for when you're doing those pulls on day 1, uh, if you get one of these beasts, they're going to be a certified beast from Beast Mode TV. Love that, a lot of beasts. Hello for the new gentleman in the top 5. At number 5, we're starting with Bobby Wagner's base card of the Seattle Seahawks, coming in with an 88 overall. Uh, this card has 87 speed, 95 tackling, 94 hit power, 85 power move, 95 pursuit, and 84 zone cover. Uh, he's my second highest rated middle linebacker, uh, and rightfully so. Even in the real, I think he's, I'd probably have to rank him as number two uh, middle linebacker right now in the league. He got paid this offseason. I still don't understand how the Seattle Seahawks are managing to pay all those players. I think they're pretty much going all in over this, this year. I think this year's going to be the last year that they have for that window. Maybe next year. But their window of opportunities, just it's all these guys are gonna start pulling cam chances, I think, and just I we got I got some money, I got a nice contract, I'm gonna want fucking more. But uh, that's another video. Bobby Wagner is a sick card, and he is coming in at number five. Uh, coming in at number four, we're going with the the top rated middle linebacker in this year's game, and that's gonna be Luke Keekley of the Carolina Panthers. His base card, 89 overall. Uh, this card has 83 speed, 96 tackling, 97 pursuit, 95 play recognition, and 82 zone cover. Uh, he's a tackling machine, the best pure tackler in the NFL, in my opinion. Uh, you know, an absolute leader of that defense in Carolina. Uh, rightfully so, like I said, 95 play recognition. He's not going to get, you know, beat uh, over a lot of plays. Has the speed to be able to shut down a lot of top tight ends. You'll play in ultimate team. So, I mean, this carry is going to be a beast right off the bat. Uh, going to number three is going to be our first outside linebacker, and it's going to be Khalil Mack. Of the Oakland Raider, his base card, I think a slightly overrated. I love Kilo Mac. A lot of you guys on the channel know, I, even though I'm an Eagles fan, I do show some love to the Raiders when a lot of people don't. I still think 87 is a little high for a rookie. I, like I said, I don't agree with, I don't think any rookie should still be over an 85, personally. And that's just me being a hard ass. Like Odell Beckham Jr. is a little high. Mike Evans, all those guys, literally a little high. But Kilo Mac, insane. Phenom probably the best Oakland Raiders pick in forever. And this card is, you know, I don't think it's well deserved. But he, if you're going to give him an 87, he earned it. Uh, 87 speed, 95 tackling, 89 hit power, 91 power move, 97 pursuit. My God, this guy is a fucking beast. You, Raider fans, you, you got you got a, like absolute stud on your hands. I think you know all the reports are coming out that they're just going to make him purely uh, pass rush this year. So I can see, uh, you know, de he'll definitely hit double digit sacks. I think it's only a matter of time. So this Khalil Mack card is absolutely insane for a sophomore card. Insane. I actually think this card is better than Odell Beckham Jr.'s card from a positional standpoint. Uh, Khalil Mack is the best sophomore player uh, in Ultimate Team this year. Uh, moving to our number two overall outside uh, linebacker. It's an outside linebacker, team captain, Bruce Irvin card. Uh, this card possesses 90 speed, 93 tackling, 91 hit power, 95 power move, and 97 pursuit. Personally, I didn't actually think Bruce Irvin was that good. I was, like I said, I don't not super into like the 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 Seahawks really. I know a lot of their big stars, but I always thought Bruce Irvin was just, like a situational pass rusher kind. Obviously, I guess they got him onto the field more often. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what made him the team captain. I would have figured maybe you know fucking Earl Thomas or something like that or Sherman. But I mean, this guy is unreal. Ninety, speed, like I said, you got the ninety speed, ninety three tackling, ninety seven pursuit. Uh, he's gonna be an absolute nightmare coming from the outside. Uh, so it will be a very very sick card. But for me, number one. Uh, one of the, probably maybe the best base card in Ultimate Team, that is Von Miller of the Denver Broncos, 90 overall. Uh, has 89 speed, 91 tackling, 87 power move, 96 finesse move, 90 break, uh, break tackle, and 95 pursuit. So you have the, you know, the well-routedness of the power move and finesse move, unreal break tackle, really good pursuit, really good speed, really good tackle. Like this card, I actually think this is undoubtedly the best base card in Ultimate Team. Better than J.J. Watt as well, which is kind of surprising. But this card is absolutely fucking insane. Uh, so this actually might be the card I want. I'm looking forward to trying to get my hands on the most uh, during the first week of Ultimate Team. So that's pretty much it. Does it for the top five linebackers, guys? If you enjoyed the video? Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment in the comment section below with your top five linebackers. And until next time, it's your boy C4. Same peace out.